Hello, if this is your first video that you're watching from my channel, I am Saki. I'm 21 and I currently live on the Gold Coast here in Australia. This vlog is about me moving from Brisbane to Gold Coast and I'm actually moving in with my boyfriend and this is the first time I'm moving in with a partner, but I have also lived with friends and strangers and I've also lived on my own for almost two years. So I'm pretty familiar with moving out of home, moving around. So I do hope that this vlog inspires you you in a way to move out of home and pack your things up because it's so much fun. Well, how many bloody compartments of this thing have? What even is this though? Oh, that's it. Bring that. So that's it. If you ever got a plate of food and you want to put it in the microwave so it doesn't spire everywhere, you put that over the top. You were like, did you ever do that? Lovely seat. Found this chocolate. So we're gonna try all of them. This is marble, coffee, strawberry jam in the middle of chocolate, choco baby, it's called Aporo. These Sorry. expired in 2019. Mm. They're good. That's really good. Smarties, choco baby. Ooh. <laughs> Crusty and white. That's all right. Chocolate has no um. It's yum though. No expiry like date. Apparently. Crunchy. Kind of like dog food. Mmm. They're good. The jelly and the coffee ones. Mmm. The best ones. Mmm. Oh, good. A few moments later. This is trying to figure out how to get his bowl. He's been distracted. And what do you reckon about this state? I have a lot to do. Nah. We so, don't have that much to do. Nah. Not much at all. Whole lot of kitchen to pack. Don't know what the fuck is happening over there. Still a lot to do and it is 9 p.m. Ow! That's so dangerous. What? Did you zap yourself? No, whack me in the leg though. That's not good. That's fine. <laughs> fine. He loves balls. Oh my god, look at him. It's like 10.36. It looks like we've done a lot. Like I literally packed like these boxes, this bag, a ski, and another box underneath. We like full of stuff. But it just literally the house doesn't look packed at all. So but anyways, that's what we have done. It's getting pretty late, I'm pretty tired, so we might honestly call it a day soon. Honestly, I wasn't even gonna like vlog this whole moving process because like moving is so stressful as it already is But I know that in six months time I'm probably gonna watch back on this video and be like thank I vlogged that because it's just like so nice seeing like events of your life like in a like crammed up into a vlog I think it's really cool. So really tired really stressed a lot to do but Today was pretty much the packing day, although we literally only started packing like, let's say like 5 p.m. I look so bad, I'm probably gonna go because I can't keep looking at myself looking like this. 
<laughs> Tomorrow's the day we like properly move in. Zeus is living his actual best life while Lockie and I have just been slaving away. Yeah, it's gonna be a big day tomorrow, but like it's do it like it's just the first day of this new chapter. So I'm really, really excited. And every time I get stressed or I can sense that we're getting overwhelmed, like I'll just remind myself that this is like this day only happens once. And I'm really, really excited for tomorrow. I'm excited to take Zeus. He's probably going to be so confused, but I think he'll like the new place better. Because this place is just like all tiled and he has like no grass. Anyways, I am so tired, so I am going to go to bed. And I will talk to the vlog tomorrow. <laughs> Moving day. Yes. Oh, so tired. Excited. <laughs> Do I fit? Because I don't have to get out of the car. <laughs> it's ten to six in pitch the morning. Black. Yeah, still pitch black. We are going to just go pick up the van. Hopefully it's not dodgy. We used an app called Car Next Door to hire this van and it actually turned out being the best thing ever because we pretty much only paid about $100 to hire the car for almost an entire day and most truck delivery removal services charge about $100 an hour so yeah that's what we did. It even came with like that wheelie thing, some straps and some blankets so it turned out being really really easy for us to actually move a lot of things. The hardest thing was moving this goddamn fridge and you wait until part two comes out. Moving the fridge from my house was 30,000 times harder because we literally had a actual normal set of set of flat. <laughs> normal set of stairs to go down whereas this house we actually had an elevator and yeah we were here assessing what to do and we looked so lost so this lovely man came by and he decided to help decided to help <laughs> he thankfully helped us but yeah other than that we actually carried and moved a lot of things on our own i was doing my big girl form right squats to make sure my back was protected i was very much tired but it was actually kind of fun i mean it was like we were a team and we were actually smashing through the load so very happy this is me being amazing at carrying boxes and stuff i've done i've literally had that much um workplace health and safety modules to do with all my past jobs so your girl knows how to bend over for a box the van is packed to the absolute brim now we're gonna get on the road because it is bloody 9 30 and we told the real estate we were gonna be there at 9. Whoopsie daisy. What a vibe. Oh my god. No fucking way. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so I have this thing. Tell the universe, show me a blue a butterfly. I just found this random ass note in the car. And look at that. Oh, that means the universe is out there telling me that moving to the Gold Coast is the right thing to be doing. Oh my God, that is so crazy. Right, anyways, we need to get on the road. And I have the biggest headache because I'm on my period. Love that for me. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> he has his subway not toasted, which I think is so weird. And after a very long morning of packing, we finally made it to our new baby home here on the Gold Coast. And looking back, I'm so glad I vlogged this because moments like this, I'm just so happy that I captured it. We were literally so hungry, starving, tired, overworked, stressed. We ate our subway in complete silence and we went straight back into unloading the car. I'm still so surprised and shocked to this day that we actually managed to do this completely on our own. We did so much physical work and yeah, it took it out on us physically, but still worth it. It's definitely an experience that we will never forget and I'd probably do it all over again because it was kind of funny love traffic <laughs> <laughs> oh my god
god, it's almost 4 p.m. And we're supposedly meant to be back in Brisbane to return this car by 6. That's absolutely impossible. Like, that is absolutely impossible because it takes an hour to get to our plate, to Gold Coast, with good traffic, one hour. This is probably gonna take an hour and a half, an hour and 45, an hour and 40, who knows. But we also have to unpack this whole second load. And we just tried to extend our trip, and the latest we can extend it is by 30 minutes, so. But it's okay. Everything always works out, so let's see. Hopefully we'll be back in Brisbane by 6.30 in one piece with the car. <laughs> Whew, we just dropped off Usain, so that was all good. And now we are getting a dirty, <sighs> dirty Hungry Jack's feed. Last thing I want to eat is fucking Hungry Jack's. So I'm so hungry, I don't care. I wanted a dirty feed after today. Triple Smokehouse Whopper meal coming up. Chippies. Put our foot extra salt. Feel the weight difference. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's so heavy. No, I need to film that. That is how thick his burger is. <laughs> Happy boy. So, this is so good. 